Good morning, it's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for uh, Friday's trading session, the 21st of April 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at Google Play. You can download the app at Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, now in terms of the markets, certainly seems to be some stability in Asia overnight. Uh, we have the, uh, the Asian markets more or less stable. Although the Shanghai certainly was uh, was negative, or did actually end up finishing negative 0.7%. The Nikkei certainly finished higher. Now, U.S. markets as well uh, certainly did uh, enjoy a stellar rally on the back of Mnuchin and Trump comments in terms of uh, potential fiscal stimulus and uh, tax uh, reform being done earlier than expected or actually back on the table. Also, the health reform uh, bill as well apparently is going to be back on the table on Wednesday. And that certainly uh, helped the dollar to a large extent and obviously triggered the reflation trade. Whether or not those are those comments uh, uh, and we actually get follow through is a different question altogether. European markets did short squeeze in the back of Mr. Macron potentially squeezing in in terms of the first round. Uh, whether we go into this, so what happens in the second round, that's a total different question altogether. Okay, so again this morning, uh, economic data. Uh, you had UK retail sales certainly missing expectations. The European current account coming in slightly better, well, certainly better than expected. Industrial sale, industrial sales as well coming in stronger than expected for Italy. In terms of Germany, German uh, PMI data came on the weaker side as opposed to the positive. So certainly uh, dashing expectations of a bullish, uh, obviously, outcome there. And in terms of uh, French and PMI certainly coming in stronger as well, certainly helping to a large extent. Uh, Nikkei PMI certainly coming in stronger as well. Okay, so again, uh, the two main re uh, focus areas at present is geopolitics, uh, okay, and, and socio-economics. So, geopolitics with North Korea saber rattling still in the background, and we also have uh, the French election uncertainty going in on Sunday, and then obviously the social implications of that and the economic implications, as we already know, especially in terms of the euro. So that certainly seems to be the status quo. Okay. Now, uh, at present, where, well, what are we focusing on? Now, we have economic data due out uh, from Canada and uh, America uh, shortly, and that will dictate sentiment as well. But on the very side, remember Germany and uh, the UK certainly missing expectations in terms of economic data. And the biggest uncertainty is the French political election. OK, now, where do we stand technically? Let's look at the actual market. Technically speaking, now let's go to the daily chart, the German DAX. We're still holding on to that diagonal trend line, still holding on to that FIB 75 percent on the daily chart. So six, FIB 60 percent, no real thrust higher. I mean, this is one of the th things that I've been very surprised with regards to the German DAX. No real conviction at all on the upside. So. Again, interesting. Let's see exactly how this market unfolds. We're still in that bearish channel, okay? So lower lows, lower highs still exist. So just bear that in mind and no real thrust tire. I'd expect 12,100 by now, and that certainly isn't the case. So keep an eye on the German DAX. 10 minute chart obviously is indicating resistance and therefore indicating weakness, especially going into this potential French election. Daily chart, the French CAC, certainly a thrust tire, very impressive thrust tire yesterday up to gap fill at 5,100. Certainly stalling now, though. Okay, it is an inside bar, but bear in mind you do have a HNS formation, therefore a very high probability of the market being crushed. So just bear that in mind, okay? Especially with the election not going in the right direction. Okay, so we thrust higher up to five is going to ninety. Market obviously has given back for now. Let's see exactly how this market unfolds. Now I'm just connecting the pivot highs, so lower lows, lower highs. So again, from my perspective, you should technically be going down to connect that. Uh, 4980, 4990, potential 5000 level. Okay. In terms of the 10 minute chart, let's just quickly look at the French CAC 10 minute. You're certainly seeing resistance at 5060. So let's see how that unfolds. The unfilled gap remains open, give, open given the fr French terrorism concerns. Again, that's risk negative. So that's one of the major risk factors as well. In terms of the FTSE, we're still meandering and uh, sort of uh, messing around that 7100 zone. Okay. Uh, just trading sideways, really. If anything, daily chart certainly isn't hasn't helped. In terms of weaker retail sales from um, from the uh, UK this morning, again that certainly hasn't helped sentiment. 60-minute chart at the moment, uh, again there's multiple multiple support here at uh, 7080, 7100. Whether or not that holds is a totally different question altogether, given the French political uncertainty. Now we are building a base around that 7100, so that, again respect the uh, the price action accordingly. If you break that 7100, then it certainly does turn very very negative. Okay, now in terms of the euro stocks, last but not least, again, we're holding that previous support equals resistance at 3448449. Uh, daily chart at the moment has the potential bear flag scenario and a HNS formation certainly is in play given the French political uncertainty. 
resistance was held at 34440 so again looking for a flush from my perspective looking for a flush down to that potential pivot low at 3420 even down to 3410 so two zones that we're going to be watching out for okay right i think that's a, a summation really of uh, european indices for this morning uh, my bias certainly remains bearish given the political uncertainty going forward on that note please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus goodbye now.